chance to listen his uh, several uh, speeches in several occasions uh, that inspired us in different level. So thank you very much. And, and uh, the parliamentarians who attended this meeting, we are especially grateful to our parliamentarians because uh, they attended another meeting in Dhaka we organized on the ground uh, on the, the last uh, September. So they show their interest to work with the Dalit people and the other parliamentarians from India and Nepal. Uh, thank you. As, as an organizer, I want to welcome once again uh, all of you. Uh, Bangladesh is, is, is quite different in the context if you analyze that last speaker he said this is the second uh, movement, second generation movement. The first generation movement was to make them visible. In Bangladesh, it's time for Dalit in Bangladesh to make them visible and claiming the human rights and entitlements. So human rights are saying that they are not treated as a human being in some places. So if you are not really treated someone as a human being, how you can apply the human rights instrument on this. So that's the visibility and recognition is most important. Bangladesh is a country of 160 million people with diverse culture and ethnicity. Though there is no, no official data, it is estimated that around 6.5 million people in Bangladesh are affected by the caste-based discrimination and increasingly refer to themselves as that. Because there are problems in Bangladesh, the identity. There are 70 different subcastes. Some of them are really pushing their identity, something like Horijan, something like Rabida. So they are increasingly identifying themselves as Dalit. Dalit have been regarded as belonging to a lower caste and excluded social sailor. Although Dalit community plays an important role in the economy, environmental and social development, they are one of the most economically marginalized and socially excluded groups in Bangladesh. Lack of access to education, extreme poverty, Health and housing problems and unequal access to work as a key challenges to the full enjoyment of fundamental human rights for Dalits in Bangladesh. Dalit communities experience daily insecurity, uncertainty and violence from the public. Police and officials with usually no recourse to justice. Due to discrimination based on work and descent, they are deprived from education, health and access to resources. Dalits have historically been assigned a job by the dominant